Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold for yourself the AMD KMPFD.SYS failed blue screen error that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to go ahead and check for any new updates for your graphics card drivers. So if you open up the search menu and type in device manager, best match, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the display adapter section by double clicking on it. And then whatever display adapter is listed under here, double click on it again. And you can select the driver tab. I would suggest going on the internet and looking up the manufacturer's website and seeing if this is the latest driver version available. Just do a simple Google search should be able to tell you that information. Now you may be able to just update the driver directly through here. However, I would suggest going onto the manufacturer's website and getting the most up-to-date one directly from them. So again, that's something I would suggest looking into. So again, pretty straightforward process on that. If you had any peripheral devices plugged into your computer, like an external mouse, keyboard, monitor, that sort of thing, I'd recommend unplugging them and plugging them back in as well. And then once you've done that, open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevator command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once it has concluded, close out of here and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.